So I've watched the first four episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus, and I've seen some mixed reviews out there, but I've got to tell you, for me, it has absolutely hit it out of the park. The this series feels much different than The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett. Um, there's different people behind the scenes is probably part of the reason. But this, this series of Obi-Wan Kenobi, to me, it speaks to that generation of Gen X to Millennials who, my age, enjoyed the original movies. Uh, then you have the sequels came along, the prequels. This makes you love those movies over again. And to me, that can all boil down to the casting of Ewan McGregor. Putting him in this movie, I understand Hayden Christensen's in it. I know that James Earl Jones is doing the voice of Darth Vader. All those things definitely help. The new characters are great. But for me, Ewan McGregor still being Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's a seasoned actor now. Uh, and I think it's episode two at the end where he finds out that Anakin is still alive. And he says, Anakin, at the end. I got chill bumps now thinking about it. It was a great piece of film. Casting Ewan McGregor to be Obi-Wan Kenobi again is the number one reason why I'm having so much fun with this series. Uh, if you've seen the series so far, in episode two at the very end, um, he gets back into the ship, Leia is there, and he, he's almost trembling, like his face is shaking, he's sweating. He's, getting, he's nervous because he's just found out that Anakin is still alive. And he doesn't know exactly what that means yet because the last time he saw him, he was burning to a crisp. So he's, he's shaking there and he's nervous. Leia says, uh, hey, are you all right? And I don't think he even responds. He doesn't even hear her. It's kind of muted in the background. But his acting right there made me scared of Darth Vader again. Since the first time since 1970-something, I'm scared of Darth Vader again. And what's going to happen? You know, is he going to come get revenge on Obi-Wan Kenobi? Of course. You saw that in episode three. Um, there's going to be more of that to come. The fact that they're already out there lightsabering it up, that's awesome. I'm glad they didn't wait till the end of the series to, to bring Vader out in the suit that was a surprise. I thought for sure that they would wait till the end of the series to do that. They're already fighting with lightsabers. It's great. It's the original reason why I love Star Wars. And uh, it just really works on all different levels. I like the new characters. There is some, you know, for people who don't like what Disney has done to the franchise, that's there. You're going to see some of that. And that may be why some of the critics don't like this series as much as I do. But it's a good melding of the different generations. Everybody can enjoy this if you just take it for what it is and enjoy Star Wars. I can't wait until Wednesday to watch another episode. Uh, I'll be watching it throughout. I understand that Ewan McGregor has signed up for season two, which will be awesome. Can't wait to see it. This was a little different. This wasn't a movie review. This was a streaming show that's been out. Uh, I'll be doing that from time to time. And if you like these videos with a pop-up trivia, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.